And here we go, the final section of chapter 19, 19.4. Now, this is also the last section in unit um, part one of unit five. And so let's continue on with the continental and local winds. We have two objectives. Describe the effects of seasons and continents on wind patterns and explain the circulation of sea, land, mountain, and valley breezes. How do continental and local winds vary from the global wind patterns is the general question. And a key idea here is seasons, land masses, and topography cause winds to vary from the global patterns depicted in the three salt circulation model from the previous section. Now in the summer, air over continents has low air pressure and air over the seas has high air pressure. It's due to the temperature and humidity. Now winds tend to blow more from the sea to the continents. The pattern reverses in the winter. This reversing winds are called monsoons. So there is a winter monsoon, and as you can see here, it goes high pressure to low pressure. So the wind tends to, to travel to the south in this case. And you can see the ITC is, ITCZ is a lot lower. Then in the summer, it reverses, and you can see the ITCZ then moves up, and the wind pattern reverses as well. The winds are always traveling from high to low. Now the monsoon is a wind of Southeast Asia in the Indian Ocean that changes direction seasonally from the Southeast from November until March and the Southwest from April to until October when it is accompanied by heavy rains. Now this term monsoon is used in other areas around the planet but technically speaking the monsoon only happens in Southeast Asia. Now this reversing of air pressure and the changes in reversing of the wind direction has pretty much been a general term are been a general characteristic around the planet and then monsoons have been uh, trademarked and used for any changes and reversing of these patterns. Now during the summer monsoon warm moist air reaches these mountains and rises causing heavy rainfalls. So what sort of climate would you expect to find on the opposite side of the Himalayas from these rainfalls? Be very dry and after this air rises and drops its moisture, the air descending on the other side of the, of the mountain, the leeward side, that would be very dry. So the windward side is the moist, high vegetation, heavy rains during the monsoon, summer monsoon season, and on the other side it would be very dry. Now local winds along coasts and mountains reverse daily. Now, in this case, the sea breeze circulation, we have cold air that's, that's going down to the surface of the water. That cool air then moves its way to the low pressure area. It goes high pressure to low pressure. So it's going toward the beach or towards the coast. And then as it heats up on land, the warm air rises, moves out towards the water, cools off, goes back down to the surface, and then continues this cycle. This direction, this circulation pattern, is called a sea breeze circulation. Land breeze is reversed. This typically happens at night and this is where the land cools off faster, becomes colder than the water, therefore the air above the land is cold, it descends down, moves from high to low pressure, goes out into the open ocean or out into the ocean, heats up, moves up, rises, circulates in that continuous pattern until the sun heats up the land and then it's reversed back to a sea breeze. So we have sea breeze circulation, the surface wind goes towards the coast, land breeze, the circulation at the surface, the wind moves away from the coast. And that's kind of what you see if you're ever out on the beach or on the coast and the sun sets, you'll notice there's a change in the wind direction sometimes. Now the air rises over land and flows out to the sea. So as it cools, it sinks to replace the cool air that is flowing inland. Now sometimes this does involve a valley or a mountain or another, uh, another type of topography. But the circulation is typically the same. Now at night, the air over the land becomes colder than the air over the water. The air rises over the water and flows in inland, forming a land breeze. Okay, let's review the, the uh, all four sections of chapter 19, the atmosphere in motion. Before I do that, I do want to mention trying 19.4 section review questions 1 through 6, just to get a better idea of some of the terms from, uh, from that section. Now, once you've done that, 
you can overview some of the items from chapter 19. 19.1 uh, was air pressure and wind. We talked about what is air pressure, measuring air pressure, recording it, why does air pressure change, and then what makes wind blow, measuring surface wind direction and speed. Then two are the, was the Coriolis effect, how it affects the winds, the friction dealing with topography on the surface of the planet. 19.3 was global wind patterns, how it affects er, or the effects of Earth's rotation, three-celled circulation model, the weaknesses and strengths, and the description of wind and pressure belts. The ITCZ was the most was the prominent one in uh, on in those notes. And then section 19.4, continental and local winds. Talked about monsoons, and then the land breeze versus the sea breeze. Thank you for your time, and if you have any questions, let us know.